So I'm here to talk about Marinus and what we've got going on in the orphan space. Uh, we've got really three programs underway that could be classified as orphan opportunities. The first in our lead program there is PCDH19. Uh, female pediatric epilepsy. And this is a genetic mutation that manifests itself in young females. Uh, usually the onset is about a year of age. And, uh, and it really presents itself usually with a fever. So a child has a fever and they uh, manifest itself in a cluster seizure, which is a series of small seizures that last over a few days, a day or a few days. And then, uh, and then goes into some repetitive cycle there. It can be two weeks between clusters, four weeks between clusters. So that's the, the seizure uh, manifestation of the disease. Um, it's a serious uh, seizure disorder. It's rare. It, may, it, it causes uh, cognitive disabilities, uh, it, a delay in learning and, and intellectual development, as well as uh, other psychiatric and behavioral uh, follow-on characteristics in these young girls. So very serious, uh, high unmet need. There's uh, the treatments, current treatments on the market uh, do not do a good job of getting these seizures under control. We uh, are studying Ganaxalone, our lead drug in this, sim in this uh, PCDH19 uh, disease. Uh, we have an ongoing open label study where we're studying it in girls two to 10 years old. Uh, again, it's open labeled. Uh, they will, uh, we measure their seizures over a period of 8 to 12 weeks and get an idea of their seizure rates and then we put them on drug and then measure the impact on their seizure rates over a 28 day period. So you, you simply compare seizure numbers during the treatment period versus the baseline period. And that uh, treatment period can go out to 26 weeks. And that study is ongoing right now in the United States. Uh, Fragile X syndrome, we have an ongoing study. It's being done at the UC Davis and a site in Belgium. And we are studying uh, young uh, males, uh, primarily males and females, who suffer from uh, Fragile X, uh, the Fragile X mutation. This mutation uh, really manifests itself in these children really operating in a highly anxious or high agitated state. So what we're really interested in is testing ganaxalone and the anti-anxiety effects of the drug on these children to see if we can't uh, uh, tone things down and, and revolt into better learning um, interaction, better interaction, social interaction with their caregivers, their parents, and a better, uh, put them in a better learning mode. Uh, that study is ongoing. It's a, it's a double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover study. Uh, we hope to recruit up to 60 subjects in that study and really test, um, test the behavioral aspects of the drug. And number three, we, uh, this is a preclinical program. It's ganaxlone in, uh, formulated in an IV uh, formulation, and this will be positioned in the hospital. Uh, for acute uh, seizures. So these could be positioned uh, with pediatric seizures, for example, kids who present themselves to the hospital with acute seizures uh, as well as adults. Uh, we are sorting out the actual indication for that program right now and we'll have guidance as to where we're going to go with our IV form. Acute care hospital uh, probably mid-year this year.